Good afternoon and welcome to the Planning Commission meeting of June 5th, 2019. Uh, roll call, please. Uh, Commissioner Storian? Here. Commissioner uh, Tarachian? Here. Commissioner Lee? Here. Commissioner Manassian? Here. And Chairperson Shabazian? Yes, here. Uh, can we please have the report of, uh, regarding the posting of the agenda? Yes, the agenda for this meeting was posted on Wednesday, May 29th, 2019 on the bulletin board outside City Hall and on the city's website. Thank you. Please follow me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, do you have a new commissioner? And I would like Commissioner Minasian to introduce himself and say a little about himself, please. Uh, yes, my name is uh, Eddie Minasian. I'm being a resident of Glendale for more than 37 years. And uh, I'm very excited to be in this commissioner board. And uh, I, I just hope that I can uh, serve the best for the community. And uh, my experience and uh, in real estate and development can be useful and uh, basically help the Glendale City grow uh, the way that I've seen for my kids, hopefully. Thank you. Thank you, sir, and welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Um, welcome. Thank you. Uh, so, next item on the agenda is the approval of the minute, minutes. Do we have a motion? <coughs> good. Do we have a second? Second. Sounds good. Uh, we do not have any oral communications. Uh, we do not have any zoning appeals. Um, the next item on the agenda is uh, on the new businesses is the uh, appeal of a, a density bonus housing plan, case number PDBP1823423. And I believe we have some yes. from the staff. Yes. Uh, Chair Shabazian, Planning Commissioners, the matter before you is an appeal of the density bonus housing application for 2817 Montrose Avenue. Uh, we have received a number of letters. We've also taken a look at the state ordinance for the density bonus as well as the city's ordinance regarding um, density bonus. There is a little bit of ambiguity in regards to the parking criteria. This particular project had received a parking set concession for at grade parking for the garage not being at a semi subterranean or subterranean level that we have taken a closer look at and there is at the request of the applicant and property owner and also in regards in consultation with the legal staff we recommend that the planning commission remand this particular case back to the planning hearing officer uh, given that the applicant and property owners will be repackaging the incentives and waivers to include the at-grade parking garage. Okay, thank you. And do we have to take a vote for that? Yes. Please. Okay. So with that said, do we have a motion to remand the chair? Yes, uh, please. I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to make the motion <coughs> to uh, remand this case back to the hearing officer uh, to repackage the uh, the waiver conditions um, is that it the waivers and incentives incentives for the density bonus. yes uh, do we have a second for that I'll second thank you I have a motion by uh, Commissioner Lee a second by board or Commissioner Charge Kirk forgive Charchian, me you're good. Char <laughs> Charchian um, in terms of a roll call uh, oh I apologize yes <coughs> discussion to Madam Chair and members yes. of the uh, Planning Commission because this was noticed as a public hearing and the <coughs> item that you're considering is uh, at this moment to uh, vote on a remand uh, for that purpose yes I would open that up to public comment sounds good before and you. so we'll go through the cards well, okay uh, if I may madam chair yes. I have a question from staff what does repackaging mean exactly repackaging would essentially be looking at the requested incentives and waivers the current project has two incentives and two waivers uh, the incentives are for the height and the setbacks the waivers are for floor area ratio and lot coverage the applicant and property owners would be looking at to see where in this type of application they would like to 
include the at-grade parking. So whether the at-grade parking becomes an incentive, uh, either height or, or setbacks become another incentives, and then the, the remainder would be essentially waiver requests that are heard by the planning hearing officer. Are there any other questions from the staff before we open? Oh, and I believe yes. it's not so much a question, but I believe if you do open up the hearing, the public testimony would be specifically in regards to the the recommendation to remand the case back to the planning hearing officer. It would not be in regards to the details okay. of the actual case, simply because the matter might be coming back to you okay. at a later date. Um, I have a question as a follow-up. We have a lot of people that are vested uh, and want to speak about this. If they are going to be speaking, I don't know what kind of a substance there will be. This is the public, and they're interested in talking about this thing. Why not give them the opportunity to speak what they have to say? And uh, perhaps then the next meeting, which I don't know when that will be, then uh, additional speakers may speak or something to that effect. Because these are folks that have showed um, up here, uh, you know, taking time after work <coughs> just to address remanding. I don't believe that addressing rem a remand takes much imagination. Whoops, it's been remanded, right? Um, so that's my suggestion. Um, I'm actually going to ask the legal team to um, give their input on this um, and let us know what would be the correct um, way to proceed Madam, this. Madam Chair, members of the Planning Commission, it's entirely within your discretion. Um, let me see. Uh, okay, we have about 10 cards, I think, maybe less, and we will give each person about three minutes to discuss about this project, but have, please have in mind that it is, this might not come back to Planning Commission. You're not making a decision on this project. Uh, this is going to be remanded, so if you want to speak about that, you could go ahead and speak about it. If there's something you want to talk about the project, please go ahead. Feel free to talk about it, but we are not making a decision on that. With that, I'm going to open the public comment period, and um, I'll start calling the names. And if I do mispronounce your name, I apologize. The first person I have here is Lisa Morris. And I apologize. If you are not interested to speak anymore, just let me know. Thank you. Well, I know that us residents are here to talk about the details. Okay. Not just the rep, uh, whatever the word was, remand. One moment. Sure. Um, can we have the timer on, please? Thank you. Um, anyway, uh, I live just a couple doors down, and we have all, and I have lived in the area for probably 30 years or more. And we have seen residents, or single family residents, being de demolished and apartments and condos going up all along Montrose Avenue, and it's becoming an apartment row. Nevertheless, we want to keep the beauty of La Crescenta and the mountain environment. We do not want any kind of density that has been permitted on uh, Central Avenue and Orange. That is totally unacceptable. It, might, it belongs to a downtown. It does not belong in a neighborhood. Um, so you have restrictions for a reason. You have setbacks for a reason. You have height restrictions for a reason. You have parking restrictions for a reason. I don't see any reason at all other than for the benefit and profit of the owner and the developer to, um, you know, waive those or, or um, give concessions. So I see I'm nervous. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's in character with the neighborhood. Um, I don't know where the developer lives or the owner of the apartment building, but if it were my area, I don't want it there. And um, we don't want a precedent set. If this is permitted, then the next owner is going to want to do the same thing in the area. We don't want this in La Crescenta. Um, Parking is definitely going to be a problem. All the spaces that are on the street right now are fully used every evening. I don't know where any excess cars would park. Subterranean parking certainly makes sense. We're not against an apartment building. We're not against affordable housing. We just don't want the density 
and the height to go above what is permitted. And they should be able to build within those guidelines. I also am wondering, because of the restricted covenant that I suppose they're going to record regarding how many units have to be um, low uh, income, how is that monitored? So when that one tenant goes out, how do they know who's controlling that the next one is in compliance with that? And uh, that's really about all I had to say. Thank you, ma'am. Next person is Soreen Alexanian. I will not be speaking. Okay, thank you. And next person is Michael. Morgan. Yes, Morgan. Thank you. And it will learn how to write well. So. Anyway, <clears throat> good evening, Commission. My name is Michael Morgan. I'm a resident of Glendale. I've been here for forever. So i just like to say a few things. Um, I'm also uh, on the board of the Montrose Verdugo City Spar Heights Neighborhood Association, of which this project would be in. I just want to read just a little bit of the petition that we've circulated for the appeal of the density bonus housing plan projects. There are two proposed affordable housing projects at 2817 Montrose Avenue and the one on Milford. Our concern to the community and will set a negative precedent for future development in Glendale. While there is a need for affordable housing, and we all recognize that, the, the discretionary waivers, in addition to, to the concessions granted by the zoning code, are excessive and unnecessary, allowing at-grade parking rather than requiring subterranean parking and increasing the mass and scale of the projects does not add value to the community. And I want to read just a little bit of what we wrote in our letter submitted to the commission. The public benefit of the small number of affordable units is not outweighed by the negative impact of our communities. Although most would agree that housing affordability is a concern, only five of the proposed 53 units on this project would both develop, from both developments would be affordable. Compared to the small benefit, the discretionary waivers, in addition to the concessions granted by the zoning code, will only make these oversized high impact buildings more profitable and more numerous. The arguments of the appeal are that the project is not in compliance with CEQA regulations and SB 1818-GMC code and the denial of the discretionary bonuses do not preclude that affordability units. The discussion of the MVSNA, of which I'm a member, addresses the alarming precedent that these projects would set by allowing additional modifications and waivers in future projects, which is our biggest concern. In fact, the developer attended our meeting and expressed his personal concern and opinion that, a grade, that at grade parking, additional stories, and increased lot coverage would become the standard for new projects. So we are trying to stop this precedent. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, sir. Uh, next is Grant Mitchell. Michaels. Grant Michaels. Michaels. Oh. I'm, I apologize. No I, I read that on L, not on E. Sorry. I'm Grant Michaels. I'm the president of the Glendale Homeowners Coordinating Council as well as the Montrose Verdugo City Spar Heights Neighborhood Association. We are the co-appellants co of the appeal. I won't deliver our arguments now. We were informed this afternoon of the city attorney's recommendation to remand the project that we would agree with and I would ask if, if it's appropriate for the city staff, for the city attorney, to address more of that procedure or how that procedure would continue for our benefit and the benefit of those here in the public. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next is Jim. James. Right, Jill. I passed. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Rondi Werners. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Rondi Werner. I'm vice president of the Glen of um, Adams Hill Neighbor Association and vice president also of the uh, Glendale Homeless Coordinating Council. But I'm speaking on behalf of myself. Um, I've been a resident of Glendale for over 30 years, uh, most of that as a homeowner in Adams Hill. And we have seen lots and lots of development over the past several decades. Um, people thinking that we can build our way out of the, the um, housing shortage. And unfortunately, it seems that that policy has failed miserably um, as the 
uh, number of units go up, the prices also go up. Even big developers brag about raising the cost per square foot in the area, which, which has been pricing our families right out of Glendale, the very people that projects like this are supposed to be helping. So I urge you all to learn from what has happened to South Glendale, where, where it took me you know, 15 minutes to drive the two miles from my office to get here to speak. And, and please um, try to keep this from happening also in North Glendale. Um, I came to Glendale from the west side. I went to UCLA. I was trying to think where I want to live. I knew I, the traffic is just not something that I wanted in my life, and so I came here to Glendale in 1984, and a lot has changed since then, and a lot of it not, not for the better, unfortunately. So um, there are ways of providing inclusionary housing that do not decrease the quality of life for uh, residents in Glendale, uh, such as the Section 8 program that we've been working with, um, or the, the city has been working with Senator Portentino on, um, there's also uh, tax incentives, things like that. I, I think it's time to think outside the box and find solutions that don't cause more problems than they solve and, uh, and uh, would provide decent housing for all. Each one of these concessions, whether it's required by law or granted for the asking, makes these places that much less livable. livable. Tandem parking is a joke. It just doesn't work. Um, the setbacks, heights, all that just really damage the quality of life for the people uh, around the, these units that aren't even benefiting from the cheaper housing. So this particular development, I understand, is only two affordable units out of 38. I mean, the public benefit just isn't there. So I hope that we can all work together to find solutions that uh, are fair to all and not, not just profitable for the developers. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, the last speaker card I have is for Garo Manassian. Good afternoon, uh, Chairman, members of the Commission. Uh, I'm the architect. We were given information hours ago mm -hmm. about a misunderstanding or misinterpretation of the type of parking that is allowed <coughs> in a density bonus project. We were told and began this project on that basis that at grade parking is by right. So we did not include that as a request of a concession or a waiver. However, we realize that there is a different opinion as of a few hours ago, and we're not comfortable with proceeding unless we make sure we're complying with all the requirements of the law. And if that's the way it's interpreted, that it is not by right, then we would amend our application and request that to be a uh, waiver or a concession, however we study it, but we do need some time to do that. And it's appropriate that this be remanded back to the hearing officer and we can clean up our application with this new information provided just hours ago and uh, let this thing go back on track. We're off track now, but we hope to be back on track. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, with that, I close the public comment period. Um, do any of the commissioners have any questions from the staff before we proceed? Madam Chair, the only thing that I would ask for the city attorney, uh, there was a speaker that asked about the process of how that remanding process is going to work. So if you can elaborate on that, I think we'll be done. That's uh, procedural. Ms. Uh, Zema Titus has her finger on the button of the timing Excellent. and and the uh, the noticing for the planning hearing officer so she'll respond to your question yes Commissioner Astoria and Planning Commissioners um, if the Planning Commission so chooses to remand the project back to the planning hearing officer we request that the applicant prepare an updated a revised uh, letter requesting the various density bonuses and and specifically delineate which ones are going to be incentives and which ones are going to be waivers we will then re-notice the application consistent with the chosen waivers versus um, the incentives versus waivers uh, the public hearing would be obviously noti noticed to all the property owners and occupants within 500 feet posted on the site and put in a local newspaper. We hope to um, have this hearing scheduled for sometime in mid-July 
So it will take several weeks to uh, prepare the revised staff report, provide the required public notice, and then to actually have it before a public hearing um, in front of the planning hearing officer. So we hope to return back sometime in mid-July. Thank you. Does that answer your question, Commissioner Astorian? Thank you, yes. Any other questions? Sorry, ma'am, the public comment period is done. Uh, with that, do we have any other questions? just want to add something. Yes, um, please go ahead. I have no relationship with the architect. <laughs> just have the same <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, do we have a motion that... I think you do. Okay. Do we have a second to, to that motion? I think you do. We had a motion by <laughs> Commissioner Lee, a second by Commissioner Krakchian. And in terms of a roll call, board uh, or Commissioner Astorian? Yes. Commissioner Manassian? Yes. Commissioner Lee? Aye. Commissioner Krakchian? Yes. And Chairman Shabazian? Yes. The motion passes to remand back to the planning hearing officer. All right. Five zero. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is... We don't have, let's see. We have an item for the uh, under old uh, business. Uh, it is an ordinance to establish standards, uh, procedures, and fees for home share activities and to prohibit vacation rentals, which is being asked to be continued from. Uh, I'm sorry, am I? You're right. Take off the comment. Okay, so. Uh, and the uh, Community Development Department staff is recommending that the Planning Commission take off the calendar uh, of the calendar this uh, agenda item, and this agenda agenda item will be renoticed for new hearing date. Um, thank you. And do we need an approval for that, or we just <coughs> we need a motion? Okay. So with that, do we have a motion for this item? The new commission. Oh. It's an easy one. So. <laughs> So. All right, so would you please do a roll, roll call on that? I'm sorry, who moved? I did. We have a motion, second Asian, and Asturian, second. Uh, uh, Commissioner Trachian? Yes. Commissioner Lee? Aye. Commissioner Manassian? Yes. Commissioner Astorian? Yes. Chairperson Chapazian? Yes. Um, we have another item under agenda, agenda uh, 601 and 603 uh, Bullet Road. Uh, which was requested to be, um, which was being continued from April 17, and the Community Development Department staff is asking if we can calendar this uh, agenda item. Uh, do we have a motion for that? So moved. All right. <coughs> second. You're good. Then we have a roll. Ro do we have Who's a second? Seconded? Yes. Who's second? I'll Who's second. second. I'll second. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Who moved? Chairperson Lee or uh, Commissioner Lee? And uh, uh, Commissioner Chakchian, second. Okay. Can uh, we have a roll call for that, please? Commissioner Astorian? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Manassian? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Tarachian? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Lee? Aye. And Chairperson Shabazz? Yes. And the last item from old business is 401 West Doran Street, which was a variance case number PVAR 106410. Application has been withdrawn for, for this, uh, for this uh, project. And I don't think there's a motion that we need to continue. Mm -hmm. uh, are there next item on the agenda is the community development department updates. Are there any updates that uh, you would like to? No updates for okay. the good of the order. Sounds good. And uh, do we have any comments from the commissioners? Happy summer. Uh, we are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.